Hello friends, good morning. Myself C Patel and today I am going to discuss the gate metallurgy problems set 12. So basically in this lecture I have taken questions from the crystallography as well as metallurgical thermodynamics. Okay, so let's do the first question. At what angles of incidence X-ray of wavelength 5 angstrom will produce diffracted beam from the 110 planes in a simple cubic lattice with lattice parameter h10 angstrom. So basically we have to find the angle for the first, second, third order of reflection in this case and we have to match with the angle of the first or second or the third angle of reflection okay so basically we know that in Bragg's law the equation used is 2d sin theta 2d sin theta equal to n lambda where d is the interplanar distance lambda is the wavelength n is the order of reflection okay now first of all we have to find the value of theta and we have to match with the order of reflection given order of reflection now we don't know the value of d here so first calculate the value of d and the value of d will be calculated by a divided by under root h square plus k square plus l square the lattice parameter is 10 and strong and the miller indices of the plane is hkl that is 110 so 1 square plus 1 square plus 0 square and this value will be equal to 5 root put the value of d here and lambda is already given here that is the 5 angstrom and this is the order of reflection so now in the first case we take the first order of reflection for first order of reflection take n equal to 1 so 2 into d 2d d is 5 root 2 sine of theta will be equal to 1 into lambda and the value of lambda is 5 and strong so you don't have to change it in meter because here it is also an angstrom here so just solve that and the value of sine theta will be equal to 1 upon 2 root 2 and if you find the value of theta that is sine inverse 1 by 2 root 2 and this value will be equal to 0 0.3535 sorry this value is 0 0.35 that is sine inverse 0.3535 and this value will be equal to 20.73 so for the first order of reflection the value is 20.7 degrees so option C is also correct now let's check for the second order of reflection so now for second order of reflection we have to take the value of n is equal to and again applying the Bragg's law that is 2d sine of theta will be equal to 2 into 5 and in this case also sine theta will be equal to 0. Point, if you solve it 0.071 will be the answer and theta will be equal to sine inverse 
zero point seven zero seven one, and this will be equal to forty five degree. So option D is also correct in this case. So both option C as well as option D is correct for the first case. Let's do the second problem. And this problem is for the metallurgical thermodynamics. And the question is: For an isothermal free expansion of an ideal gas into vacuum, which of the following set of values is correct? Now, delta U, that is the change in internal energy, is greater equal to zero. Q, heat exchange is greater than zero. W, that is the work done is less than zero. Which of the following is correct? So now we know that for isothermal process, we know that delta T is zero. That is the temperature is constant here, and we know that for any ideal gas, internal energy U depends only on temperature and not on pressure or volume. So in this case, delta U will be equal to zero if the temperature is constant. Now, from the first law of thermodynamics, we know that delta U equal to Q plus W. That is change in internal energy equal to heat exchange plus work done. And if the value of delta U equal to zero, then Q will be equal to minus of W. Now. For an isothermal free expansion of ideal gas in vacuum, P external is equal to zero, and we know that work done equal to minus P external into del V. And if P external is zero, then work done will be equal to zero. And if we put the value of W in this equation one, then we will get Q is also equal to zero. So here we find that. Delta U is zero, Q is zero, and W that is work done is also zero. So the option C will be correct in this case. Now coming to question number third. This question is from the Maxwell equation of thermodynamics, and let's do the problem here. Now, in this question, we have to find the correct thermodynamic relationships. Now, so in this case, first we have partial differentiation of With respect to V at the constant entropy is equal to partial differentiation of P with respect to S at constant volume. So, is it correct or not? We have to check it. Okay. So, the trick here is that you have to make a square. This is a trick to remember the Maxwell equation or the relations. Now, starting from here, we have to write T, P, S, and V. Okay. So, the term is the pasya. You know, that is T, P, S, V, the pasya. Now, first point the arrow in these two direction. This much. For the second, you again have to write that is the T P S V, and the arrows arrow should be pointed here, here, and here. For the third case, again this will be. S and V, 
and the arrow should be pointed here and the fourth edge TP SV and in that case the arrow should be pointed in that direction now we have to write now the equation the relationship for all the edge cases now starting from the first We have to go from this point to this point via this point. So first right here. And since the arrow is pointing upward, that is in upward direction. So we have to take the positive sign. So here we write that positive partial differentiation of dt that is t with respect to dv with respect to V at constant entropy will be equal to now from this point we have to go here but here we see that the arrow is pointing in downward direction so we have to take negative sign and now this will be equal to partial differentiation of P with respect to S at constant volume so partial differentiation of t with respect to v at constant entropy will be equal to minus of partial differentiation of p with respect to s at constant volume so if you match it then dt by dt them is matching with that so let's do the second one now in this case we have to start from this point and go to this point I mean this case we will write that here the arrow is pointing in down, downward direction so we have to write do s upon do v at constant temperature but we have to take the negative sign now from here we have to go there so we have to go in that direction so it will be equal to but here again the arrow is in downward direction so again we have to take the negative sign here and that will be partial differentiation of p with respect to t at constant v and if we solve it then it will be equal to negative sign will be cancelled out from both the side and it will be equal to dp by dt constant volume so now if, if we want to match it from this option then this will be the correct so c is one of the option that is correct in this case coming to the option c here sorry the third one and in that case again we have to go from here to there as well as here to sorry here to there now for the first case we can write for this we have to start from there and go via p as and come to t this arrow is in downward direction so we have to take the negative sign and that will equal to partial differentiation of entropy with respect to pressure at constant temperature it will be equal to here the arrow is pointing upward direction so we have to take the positive sign and it will be equal to partial differentiation of volume with respect to temperature at constant pressure so let's check of damage correct no none of them is correct in this case it is not not matching with anyone okay no 
now do the last one again we have to start from here and go to here and start from here and go to here then the first case we can write for this the arrow is pointing upward for this the arrow is pointing upward so we have to start from here and go to s so it will be equal to dt upon sorry do p with respect to constant entropy at constant entropy plus that is the positive sign again here it will be positive sign because in this case also this arrow is pointing upward so it will do do v upon do s at constant pressure okay now if you match it then this will be the correct option for this case so option b and c is correct relationship out of these four relationships in this case So these are the four Maxwell's relation trend that are very very important and you have to focus it. Okay, for you have to keep more focus on these topics. And generally these are always asked in gate also. And this is a very simple trick to remember. That is the Maxwell rectangle trick that is very very helpful. So the next questions will be in the next lecture. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed and kindly subscribe it. Thank you. Thank you.